In Singapore's 50 years of nation building, many landmarks constructed just after our independence were the nation's aspirations and vision of a new country. These landmarks play an important role in that moment of history. If we erase them all, what will remind us of that era? Are we a dementia nation? My primary school was gone, and then my secondary school was gone, and then the place I grew up was going to be demolished. Places like the Golden Mile Complex uh, is an asset. It is very sad, because building like this, you know, you can touch and feel. Because they make this place in the 70s, uh, so like about 40 years old already. Lah. Kalau dirobohkan, dah tak ada lagi sejarah lah. Sedih kan? Memang rasa sedih lah masa mereka suruh Pak Cik pindah dari tempat ni. Ni tempat banyak sejarah. Anak-anak Pak Cik semua dibesarkan kat sini. Tapi dah tak ada apa-apa lagi lah kita boleh buat. Pernah sekali mereka datang bilang Pak Cik tempat ni nak dirobohkan. Lepas tu suruh Pak Cik pindah ke blok seberang jalan. Only 40 square meters, very small. Actually, we have a vision for Golden Mile Complex. We look at adaptive reuse of old buildings and also on the regeneration social aspect of it as well. Conserving Little Thailand and its community, retain their shops and improve their businesses. People think we are, you know, big money makers and the original intention was always to destroy and rebuild. But actually it was a space that inspired us to do something like this. We reintroduced the idea of the metabolist and moving meditative pods controlled via a secured control room. You know, we've managed to show people that you can be in a space where you thought it's really dodgy, but yet able to overlook some of these aspects. Living as a community in a garden is a noble experience. And we bravely introduced the Golden Mile Complex, covering the void decks and the atrium levels. Rethinking the concept of Garden City, a city in a garden.
The key feature is these streets in the sky that connect the different floors. Nothing like it exists here with terraces on one side, the reverse of the terraces with gardens on the other. And these very modernist existing columns that hold the whole building. Theoretically, it was designed for people who could live here and do everything without ever leaving. My favourite time of the day here is actually just before dawn breaks because the air is cleanest and freshest and everything is quiet. This is where I have my morning coffee and just sit and look out the view. It's a really nice neighbourhood. I've seen many much nicer places and I didn't like them but I walked in and it felt like home. The other thing that really resonates for me is the fact that it really feels like the Singapore in the 70s and 80s that I grew up in. This is the Singapore I remember and this is the Singapore that I don't want eroded. When I go to the atrium, I feel an old school feeling. Every time I visit my friends, I feel like I'm going to go to the 70s, 80s, and 80s. Hello, Mr. Lee. Hi, Mr. So ah, uh, once you come up the void deck, I'm like I've reached another time. I can hear the birds' voices. It's really nice. Hello, Mr. Lee. Hi, 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 Mr. Lee. 哎，你回来啦，假爸爸，这就是我讲的干崩 spirit 咯。对咯，你看这边的花啊、树啊，是我大力，好像水，好像水水啊。你看，还有这边的雕像，也是我每天打理的。我当然很喜欢我工作啦。Oh, oh, oh, uh, the atrium. You got see the old dragon playground come in, not? They rebuilt, you know. You got see, not? Ah, huh? ah. Macam minggu lepas, Pak Cik pergi jemputan jiran anak Pak Cik, Cik Ismail. Senang. Dia buat nikah dengan sandingan kat bawah aja. You know, the void deck area, very easy. Then. Meet all the neighbors again, like kampung last time. Saya rasa saya belum lagi puas explore tempat ni. Pak Cik cakap tempat ni memang ada sesuatu dari tarikan lah. It will always pull you back on. Kita ni wan jin ha, kita wan jin ha, boleh buat apa mah? Singapore is a small country. We just have to constantly evolve and not demolish. Because moving on into tomorrow, you have to know where you came from. And these preservation of culture and heritage is what root us together. If we don't start identifying things that are important to our culture, our history, our identity, and that we want to keep, then we will lose it.
and we will lose it forever. Oh, my God. 